Ford Unto Dawn had its inception at 343, they decided that they wanted to have some kind of um, brand new event. And they, they started to realize that there is an appetite from the fans and there is the capability now to do a live action series that can precede the game. When I got a call about this project, it was kind of a pinch me moment. We're shooting something that takes place quite before the next Halo games. These are the kids of military officers and dignitaries within the UNSC, which is essentially the kind of governing body of the universe, if you will. And during this time, um, the UNSC is engaged in a civil war with essentially the insurrectionists. Our story centers around a cadet named Lasky. He's halfway through his, his year at the, the academy, and he is having quite a hard time coming to terms with what he's actually learning. Uh, his older brother is an ODST. His brother was sort of the opposite of him. He, he accepted this life, he was gung-ho, he wanted to fight the insurrectionists. Through seeing the evolution of his brother, it only strengthens um, his point of view that war isn't the answer. No sooner do we sort of like get to know him than the school is uh, suddenly under attack by aliens and these kids are forced to defend themselves and sort of later in the story, we receive help from the biggest hero of the Halo world, Chief. When we first got to meet him, and everyone's kind of like, this guy is huge. I think, he, uh, I think they've made this, this role for him. There's a huge fan base, um, and they're very passionate about the character. So it's a daunting task at the beginning, but it, that makes it more exciting to put the effort into what you think it should be. And at the same time, bring a little bit of yourself into the character but really not stray too far from who he really is. And what's really cool is that particular character, La Thomas Lasky, actually continues on into Game 4 and have um, another interaction with, with the Master Chief. It's made for web content primarily, which is a really interesting sort of um, new world for filmmakers. I like it because in some ways there's no rules and you can kind of work however you think is best for the material so you can come up with a story and then put it in the framework that supports it the best way, which is really cool.